Welcome again to our hub identification class and today we are exploring one of the most uh, tumor buster hubs that we have around in nature. Remember that for you to have a good health you have to have the follow the principles of health and be someone who is uh, <clears throat> ministering to the needs of others. Don't think about yourself. Think about others and use the natural agencies to revitalize, expel the impurities from your system. We have to know that disease is, uh, is a healing process. It is the mouthpiece of the body. Disease is a friend. And that is a way that the body is trying to eliminate that which is toxic to it and is not helping it to, uh, to prosper. And so we need to understand and know how the body is communicating to us. Sometimes the body communicates when we have headaches. It's a sign that there is a problem. When there is pain, it's a sign that there is a problem. If there is change in the uh, in the texture of your skin, in the text, the, the, the shape of your uh, of your nails, um, if the, the 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 shape or the sh uh, or the color of your hair is a sign that you are either healthy or not healthy. And uh, if you have vomiting or fever, these are signs that the body is helping you to uh, to note that. You need to do something in order to help your system work very well. So in the case of these problems, we need to assist nature in order to revitalize and expel the impurities. One of the things that help us is the remedial agencies, but food, nutrition, exercise, and wholesome Healthy living help us to live a robust and vibrant health. Now, without much ado, let's go to our hub here, and that is Phytolaca americana or pork weed. Basically, it is known as a tumor buster, a hub for cancer. Now, this is how it looks like uh, in your locality. You may have identified it, it needs deep soil to develop a robust root and we use the leaves, we use the box, we use the fruits and we use the roots for, uh, for the helping of the condition. Now uh, these are the active ingredients that are there, pokeweed antiviral protein, the PAP and alternate names are American nightshade, cancer root, inkberry, pigeon berry, pork, pork salad, or pork salad. Now, medicinal properties that we find from this herb is that pork root has been used for itchy muscles and joints, rheumatism, swelling of the nose, throat, and chest, tonsillitis, horse throat, or laryngitis, swelling of lymph glands, or adenitis, swollen and tender breast, or mastitis, mastitis for mums, for skin infections, including scabies, or tinea, psychosis, ringworm, acne, fluid retention, or edema, skin cancers, menstrual cramps, dysmenorrhea, or syphilis, and syphilis. Now, those are the strains of diseases that this pork weed helps in treating. You either use the leaves or the roots but mostly the, uh, uh, the healing properties are concentrated, concentrated in the leaves. Uh, most people in America used to take the leaves as a pork salad where they will boil the leaves in, four ch in three changes of water and take it as a salad. It will be like, it will be tasting like spinach and very tasty and helpful. Uh, pokeweed is native to North America. That is the historical medicinal application. Delaware Indians prescribe pokeweed as a cardiac stimulant. It helps to make your heart to work 
well. Uh, the Penanke Indians of Virginia drank a tea made of boiled berries for rheumatism. In fact, the, 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 the ripe, the ripe uh, berries, if you, take, uh, if you take eight of them in one day, you'll have to wait for about three days uh, to take another dose. It's able to remove arth uh, arthritis or rheumatism. Or the first day you take one one berry, the following day you took two, take two two berries, the third day take three berries, and the third day, uh, the fourth day you take four berries up to day ten, and then you leave if you have room uh, if you have rheumatism or rheumatoid arthritis or, or gout, it will be able to clear it out. Uh, the American Indians use pokeweed tea for rheumatism, arthritis, and dysentery, and powder rules was used to treat cancer. In fact, the rules are known to be a tumor buster. We use it to pull out the tumor from inside the body, and then you are able to, to shrink it out or cauterize it. You need to be very keen when you are using this process because uh, you may uh, experience some difficulties like uh, hemorrhages, excessive bleedings that you may find difficult to uh, to control. And so you need not to use it ad uh, adversely, but use the pulling effect. For example, if you are pulling the tumor, use mild, milder pullants like the comfrey, like the sheep sorrel. You can ho use wood, wood sorrel, uh, plantain, or uh, you can use uh, dandelion to help you to pull the tumor slowly by slowly until it is removed out and break, broken up. Or you can use figs, uh, fig poultice. You will have to cook the, pig, the figs or roast the, fi the, the figs and then apply it on the, flume, uh, on the tumor to help burst it out. In Appalachian, dried fruits have been used topically on sauce. During the 19th century, pokeweed was used to treat many diseases, including syphilis and rheumatism. So for venereal diseases, you take the root decoction. If you have the powder, use a teaspoon of the powder in a glass of warm hot water. Let it steep for 20 minutes and then drink it in. Or you, if you choose to make a decoction, you uh, you put them in water overnight and in the morning you will drink it uh, twice a day. A glass in the morning, a glass in the evening for the first six days and then relax and you will pick up again after one week. Another principle that we need to understand when we are applying the natural remedies, um, you need not to use one type of half for a long time of period. The body needs to be relaxed. So I recommend six days using a certain herb and then you relax for six days and take another, begin on another, another herb. For example, if it is plantain this week, you relax after another, after six days, you begin another herb like pork root or dandelion or, or uh, milk thistle. You can use a combination, keep changing to make sure that the body does not adapt to only one type of, 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 of these herbs. Leaf juice was once mixed with gunpowder as a cancer remedy. Uh, the leaf juice is good for HIV and AIDS. If you have three leaves, you, uh, you crush them and put in a glass of warm water. And then after 10 minutes, you'll have to add about one glass again on that. And then you take a half a glass uh, three times a day. You will, it will boost your, uh, your immunity and also cause, uh, it will cause, uh, uh, it will cause autoimmune uh, boost within your system to fight the virus. Ointments or decoction were used to treat cancers and tumors. Uh, in Spain, a root preparation was used to treat skin problems. It's a good half for skin problems. You, you use the salve, 
uh, you make a salve made out of the root powder. I taught us how to make a salve and then applied it on the skin for psoriasis, for eczema, for abscesses, and for carbuncles, for purples, for warts. It's able to remove all those conditions for acne. Root poultices were used for neuralgia. If you have a problem with your uh, the, the, the nerves within your forehead, the bruises, the sprains and swellings, it's able to relieve you of that condition. And so that is all about pork root. And um, I want to tell you that it is a wonder hub we have for the tumors. For cancer, it is number one. For breast cancer, uh, it can be applied on the it can be applied on the breast if you are having mastitis or you put a poultice of the root on your breast if you have inflamed breast and it will be able to relieve you. If you have breast cancer, fibroids or breast cysts, it is able to, to remove it. Uh, alongside other loss of health, you will have to be very, very obedient to the nature loss and the body is able to remove alkalis rejuvenate and detoxify itself and um, a lot of the uh, antioxidants that it has like the saponins help it to be a tea that uh, uh, that makes your immunity to be very high so god bless you till next time amen